welcome back to my channel and welcome to another pregnancy update and welcome to baby girl's nursery i am currently 36 weeks and i think four days yeah four days so if you're like feeling anxious along with me then thank you because <laughs> yeah it's um we still have a we still have a little ways to go um but hi welcome to our new home this is my first pregnancy update in our new home in our new space and it's really exciting um i'm going to be updating you on weeks 34 and 35. y'all i'm lucky that i'm sitting here and doing this pregnancy update because i was 1000 percent convinced in the past few days that like i was gonna have this baby um and i i still feel like she's gonna come a little bit early i did grateful that over the past couple weeks while we were moving packing up our old place moving to this place that like she laid pretty low and like that there wasn't any there weren't any complications or anything to be worried about it was just like she i was experiencing a lot of braxton hicks during the 34th week and like leading up to the 34th week and then once the move started it was like all those symptoms subdued quite substantially and it was like I know what's happening mom <laughs> I'm just gonna stay put um, so now that we're a little more settled I'm definitely starting to feel more you know impending labor symptoms um, and in case you're brand new I'm having a repeat c-section so this is gonna be my second c-section however they scheduled my c-section for 39 weeks I have not made it to 39 weeks with any of my kids Hugo was born at 38 weeks six days and Theodore was born at 37 weeks six days and I did inquire when like I first was chatting with my OB um, about potentially moving the c-section date up but apparently they can't like legally I don't know so just keeping my finger I don't know I like keeping my fingers crossed keeping my eyes and ears open over the next two weeks just sort of trusting my body and seeing where that takes us and if she wants to stay put to 39 weeks like that's fine that's great um if she wants to come early that's great too so uh, i didn't honestly i didn't really write down very many notes over the past two weeks because of how nutty things have been here so like i mentioned we moved <laughs> wouldn't i don't know if i would fully recommend moving at 35 36 weeks pregnant like that just if, if you don't have to i guess i would recommend against it <laughs> but sometimes you have to and that was our case it just happened happened to be right now and like here we are so i feel like we made the best of it jeff helped so much my in-laws helped so much my parents helped so much like it's been a, a super collaborative effort um i wrote for week 34 doctor appointment 175 pound 175 pounds i'm annoyed about appointments hormonal and moving so like just sort of a wrap up of that that last week that we were at our other place um i have a feeling that i might be the biggest this pregnancy than i was than i've ever been in any of my pregnancies because i think i delivered when i delivered hugo i was 178 pounds and i think i was like a 176 178 with theodore so the fact that i was 175 now two weeks ago is like um, oh okay <laughs> all right well then there we go we're gonna this might be this might be the pregnancy where we we uh set a little record for how big i've gotten during these pregnancies um and i definitely feel it i'm feeling very big very heavy um i had mentioned in my last day in the life vlog that i was just annoyed about the appointments and like trying to get an appointment with my doctor um my appointments over the next couple weeks so the next appointment i have is this thursday and it's with a, a different doctor that i i haven't met um but my my ob and like the practice where i go um is apparently fully booked and so i'm going to see this other doctor who is closer in like mileage to me <laughs> so like that's good um just like kind of annoying at this point to be so late in the pregnancy and to like be told that oh your doctor is fully booked like that's i don't know i i, I personally think that, that that is a bit of an error and like if you are nine months nine months plus pregnant that like you should have priority over like appointments anyway anyway that's just me um so we'll see him we'll do the strep b test and then the next week i think now i think after this week i'm going in weekly until my c-section because like really my c-section is two two weeks away 
and I'll be doing the NIP, is it the NIPT? No, the N NST, non neonatal stress test, NST, not, not the NIPT, the NST um, at the next two appointments. So just like measuring contractions and making sure that like everything's okay. Um, I've definitely been very hormonal over the past few weeks and like that is moving aside, saying goodbye to our old home, our old neighbors who we loved, like just like huge change aside. Um, I've definitely noticed an uptick in my hormones over the past week, especially like 30, 35 weeks um, and just feeling very emotional about anything. <laughs> anything um also very hungry um that's been like a interesting thing that i feel like has sort of looped back to the first trimester the first trimester i was you know like after sort of the nausea subdued a bit i was then like starving right like from i would say maybe like 12 weeks into the second trimester um just like feeling like so hungry ravenous um and that sort of returned now toward the end of the pregnancy which i think is interesting i also had a few nights last night i had a terrible night's sleep like terrible but i think it was because yesterday i was like exhausted and spent a, a huge part of the day just like resting um but two nights before the two nights before that i woke up in the middle of the night with some mild contractions like enough to wake me up um but nothing you know nothing substantial enough for me to like be worried and like call the hospital like and they weren't it didn't happen for long um there wasn't like a huge duration to the contractions and and i'm starving and a little nauseous isn't that interesting so i was like oh that's that's new and fun um and yeah my hips i've been feeling more like a hip opening for sure my hips just feeling wider and less stable and definitely feeling that like around where my pubic bone is like feeling the two halves of my pubic bone starting to like push apart a bit and that feeling like oh okay like that really is my body getting ready to deliver the baby and again like I'm not having an, a natural childbirth or a vaginal childbirth so it's like interesting to feel my body like wanting to prepare for that um and if you're like oh well what are you gonna do if you go start going into labor like how does that work because I've, I've had that question a few times in like in person when i'm chatting to people um but it the same thing happened with or what it happened with theodore where i went into labor and started having contractions they were like very regular consistent contractions i timed them i think i started the contractions around 11 p.m had them until um around think two something like two two thirty and was like okay these are you know they're increasing in um in length but they're getting shorter closer together and like increasing in like uh, intensity so i called the doctor like that like emergency line they give you to, to call in the middle of the night um and went in around i think we got to the hospital around 3 3 30 and he was out by 5 30 so like that's you're considered an emergency c-section but it's not technically like an emergency situation if that makes sense um and my water didn't break with theodore it did break with hugo which is like i had an amniotic leak which is why i had when i went to get checked um i had to like then get admitted and get the pitocin and start that whole thing but as long as i don't i mean if i even if i were to start leaking amniotic fluid which i felt like in the past in the past few days i'm like am i just like constantly peeing myself or <laughs> is this amniotic leak and like it's so tricky to figure out which one it is i mean spoiler like luckily it hasn't been an amniotic leak so like my pelvic floor and my bladder are just they're just they're not do they're doing as best as they can um but if i were to start leaking amniotic fluid if my water were to just like full on break or if i like more likely if i'm just start having regular contractions um, i would call i would go in um it depends like is it the weekend is it the middle of the night is it during the day i um, were to be during the day during the week i could probably go into my doctor they would check and then if they thought it was time for me to get admitted i would get admitted to the hospital yada yada so yeah anyway it's been it's been a whirlwind it's been a whirlwind it's been a lot um i am so excited I'm so excited for her to be here. It's been this like really like this past week, especially the 30, 35th week. Um, and now as we journey into like the final weeks, it really has been this like 
balance between I want her to be here so bad I, I just like can't wait to meet her can't wait to hold her but also like knowing that we still have all of this to to deal with I need to pack my hospital bag I have to do that um, it's out luckily I washed all the baby girl's stuff before we moved so like I feel all I need to do is so this dresser right here um is going to be like her little dresser i got draw dividers from amazon my plan is hopefully today to go through and actually like put her stuff away in the dresser and um get that all sorted you know really just like for me <laughs> because it's not like she needs like all her clothes laid out like she doesn't need that she's going to be an infant but um especially knowing just you know after a c-section after you have a baby like you're in bed for at least you know a few days and like you're not supposed to be bending over and doing a lot of work for a few weeks um it'd be nice to just get that done with and then i know exactly what i'm putting in the hospital bag for her i just i just i made a little list yesterday and i asked on my instagram like hey guys this is what it's like what what do i i honestly i was feeling the entire time like the reason i didn't pack my hospital bag before we moved was because I was like what do i even freaking need like it's a repeat c-section i i've learned now after having two kids i wear the hospital gown that they give me i don't like wear my own clothes i'm usually sweating like just like feeling kind of gross postpartum sweating even even if i shower i still even if i shower <laughs> I did shower both times. I, I think I shower. Did I shower? Yeah, I shower. I know I showered after Hugo. Did I shower after I had my C-section? I don't remember. But even then, like, I just put on a new hospital gown. Like, I take full advantage of, like, okay, I don't, I don't mind. I'm also breastfeeding, so, like, I'm just out and about. Um, with a C-section incision, I'm not, like, trying to, like, put things over my C-section incision while I'm in the hospital while they're checking. So really it's just packing a pair of clothes to wear home from the hospital for me. Um, and then I was like, I guess my nipple shields, which I ordered. I ordered the Medela nipple shields. They're making a comeback. Um, I'll bring my breastfeeding pillow. What else? Y'all had recommended like a long phone charger and what else? Like a, a heating pad. I don't think I brought a heating pad when I gave birth, like after I had the C-section with Theodore and I was okay. Um, and yeah, I don't know. Like, it's like, what, what do I really need? I guess besides my toiletries and like all that sort of, you know, my contact lens case and my contact lens solution and my toothbrush and like all that stuff. Um, which luckily I have my whole travel case out anyway because of the move. So I feel like that'll be relatively straightforward to put together. And we have so many travel, like toothbrushes, travel toothpaste again, because of the move that I feel like. I'm, I'm pretty set it's just I guess putting it all together and collecting it all together so anyway I'll do that I will film what's in, hot, what's in my hospital bag I don't know again like I'm like what's in it <laughs> there's like nothing in it but I guess if you're like interested in like a very minimal hospital bag um I say that I you know all my hospital bags have been very excessive but yeah truly I'm like I don't really need anything um and then what else and then I will I'll film updates now. I'll try to film them weekly now that we are in the home stretch. And honestly, after the past few days, I was like, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to sit down and film another pregnancy update. Like this might be it, folks. Um, so I do, I do want to keep up with these because I want to make sure that if she does come randomly like tonight, then at least I have a very like a, a last, a last little pregnancy update. Anyway, let me back up and I will show you my bump. Oh she's so big and heavy okay here we go friends here's the bump oh my goodness i am very excited to not be pregnant very soon uh, this is the part of pregnancy everyone says like oh you totally forget the labor and delivery part the pain that comes with labor and delivery i don't forget that that i know is hard i do forget though i have like pregnancy amnesia after i give birth I forget how hard the third, the end of the third trimester is. I actually forget how hard pregnancy is in general, just from top to bottom, beginning to end. But I forget how hard <laughs> and how much work the end of the third trimester is and how, how heavy it feels and how hard it is to do pretty much anything. So I'm going on record here, going on video saying like, error, don't forget, third trimester, very difficult. So. 
Anyway, this is the bum. That's it, friends. So we um we also need to put the car seat into the car. We also um the snoo is being delivered. I want to say maybe next week at some point soon. So hopefully that gets here before she does. And I need to make sense of this room. That's the update, friends. If you're like, whoa, that's a lot. It is. It is a lot. But it'll all get done. And um, at the end of the day, like, it is what it is. And I feel like we're handling it pretty well. So, friends, thank you so much for watching. I love you all so much. I will see you in my next pregnancy update. And, uh, yeah. Let's uh let's have a baby soon. Woo!